Lab 01, building the environments for computer forensics. We may uh, create the virtual machine later after we are uh, downloaded this ISOs. So download this Ubuntu Mate uh, LTS ISO. Yeah, go to the download. Save it for a bit. Download the LTS uh, version. Use a direct download. Save it. Here you may uh, check its uh, integrity using hash code. You know how to calculate the hash code. If you uh, had taken my uh, 350. Using PowerShell, the commands we can use to uh, calculate the hash code. Okay, it's done. Is here you see the ISO file I, I downloaded. You press the Shift key, then press the right click, then right click at the empty space. You can open a PowerShell window here. Here is the PowerShell window. You can use the command lit get uh, file hash and the algorithm. The algorithm is a SHA-256, then followed by the file name. Type Ubuntu, press Enter. Okay, the hash code is calculated. You can check the this hash string with this one. 0 D3, 0 D3, so the integrity is good, to, which means my copy is identical to this uh, copy on the remote server. No corruption happened during the download. Now run your watch box. First, uh, set some preferences here. Set the default virtual machine folder. I chose my external USB drive, so you need to choose your suitable place. For example, your local uh, hard drive or external drive is up to you. The second setting is a uh, network. You need to set up a net network. This is mine. You can see the information. If you don't have this one, you will click this uh, icon to add new net network. You will get one like this. You double click. You can set the CIDR. Uh, set like this. You may set any uh, private IPv4 block. It's up to you. And I disable IPv6. And this is uh, a net network. Later, I uh, will connect those uh, created virtual machine to this uh, net network. After we set up the preferences, next uh, we uh, create a virtual machine. Here you create a new virtual machine. I want to create an Ubuntu, right? I give it a name called Ubuntu. 2004. You can uh, choose any name, and you see the Ubuntu 64 bit. Click next. The suggested uh, memory I would like to choose uh, for Macbyte is up to you, is based on your uh, available memory. 
don't uh, pull past this uh, green region. Five six. Okay, I give it a uh, eight megabyte because I have a lot of memory. You may uh, use a uh, four gigabyte; it's fine. Six. Create a virtual hard disk now, or use the default option. Here, give it a two hundred gigabyte. It's okay. You have several two hundred gigabytes virtual machine on your external drive or your local hard drive, even though you don't have uh, many. Uh, free space. For example, if I uh, allocate 200 for one, 200 for another, then totally 400. But your free space is only 256. It's fine, because the address, uh, the space is allocated when, when it's uh, needed. So actually, uh, the virtual machine just need maybe uh, several gigabytes. We will see later. Okay, now it's done. Then we need to uh, change some settings. And click, click these settings. Here yeah, I would like to change this uh, shared clipboard and a drag and a drop all to bi directional. And the system here we choose this uh, PS2 uh, mouse. Processor, you may uh, allocate two processors to it. Enable uh, nested uh, virtual technology or enable PAE here, physical address extension. Acceleration, use default. Display. Uh, 64. It's fine, you, you give any value within this uh, green range. If you want to enable 3D, click it, 3D acceleration. The important part is the network attach your computer to the net network here net the net network and you see this name is the net network we just created in that uh, preferences others you just leave it as a uh, default because we don't uh, want need to uh, do penetration test we don't need uh, this uh, promise uh, kiosk mode. Share folder, you may uh, share a folder with your virtual machine. For example, if you want to copy something into your virtual machine or copy something from your virtual machine to your local computer. Okay, these are the settings we need. In your report, you only need to uh, take a screenshot of this summary. You don't need to take uh, those settings uh, screen by screen. You can add some highlights about this acceleration, memory, processors, name, operating system, operating system type, and the net network. You connect to the net network. So that's it. Now we insert the ISO file to this uh, optical drive. Choose a file, choose a disk file. So actually, I downloaded an, another one several days ago and saved here. Right, now we can power up the virtual machine. Start the installation. You may choose a real full screen. 
Now it will take some time to complete the installation. We just uh, check this uh, integrity with the hash code, right? so you can press Ctrl C to cancel these file system checks. You see, its a screen, its desktop does not take over my screen. Later, after we install those uh, guest additional tour, addition tour, you will see it will be adjusted to the whole screen. So we install one to meet. English keyboard normal installation, download updates via installing Ubuntu Mate. Okay, erase this can install Ubuntu Mate. Choose the easiest way. Time zone, Chicago. Give it a name. Digit front six. Uh, please choose your first name. So in your screenshot, you will see your first name as a username. Please choose your first name here. I put instruction instructor here. Set up a password. As the installation is copying files, it will take some time.
our installation is complete. Please remove installation media and press enter. From the device, optic gel. Here you see I, it looks like it's removed. I press enter. You can press the water key to move this window. Yeah. Okay, now go to our course companion website. Software update. The password is your login password you set up in the installation.
Uh, the update is complete. We need to restart now. course companion website lab zero one now um, we can go through uh, these commands open a terminal window We can copy and paste. Type your login password. Okay, the last command. Yes. Okay, before we start the Java environment, I would like to install the guest tour first. So, we insert guest additions city image. Here you see this image is pop up. Open this auto run prompt. These guest additions can only be installed after you uh, execute these three commands update, upgrade, and install related tools. Here, running kernel modules will not be replaced until the system is restarted. Press enter to close this window and restart. Before you restart, you can right click this image, eject. I was a check. It's removed. I now restart.
Now you see the desktop is uh, extended automatically to my whole screen. Okay, the installation of the system looks good. Everything's done. Now we may continue our lab zero one. You may change the setting. Restore previous session every time. Okay, now we are going to do step two, install Java environment. For this part, you may only take a screenshot or a power up uh, Ubuntu. You don't need to uh, take screenshot of those uh, steps because we have installed operating system many times. Just take a screenshot of your final result for this step. I now install this uh, Java environment. I strongly suggest you go ahead to have a look on this SDK mine about its uh, functionality. It can be used to manage versions of many software. And you can go to uh, its usage store to check these uh, commands to see how to use it. I will go through these uh, commands to see any updates I need. Open the terminal window. There is another way to open the terminal window. Press your control word, then press T. A shortcut to open this uh, terminal window. Now you may copy and paste. Press the middle key of your mouse to paste here. Okay, so installed. There's a version of 5.12.2. Check those uh, available drawbars. Here, these are the Java implementation. We will install this one and this one. What does that FX mean? The FX is a GUI provided by Java. So we will need that, need this one, and this one. And you can see the difference of this version number this is 12, and 8, and some minor updates. In what you see, where is your SD command? is a hidden folder. You may create a link to see it. Here, if you just have errors, you didn't see that dot uh, sdk mine. Now let's create a soft link and tap ls again. This is that sdk mine. You can use ls sdk mine to see uh, all those uh, stuff will be installed here. We already know this drawer uh, here, right? Now we need to install the Java. Please choose the suitable version. Here, my suitable version is this one and this one. They are larger than the number here because these are installed last year. SDK in 
install Java copy and paste Java 8 install oops it's not this part it's uh, this part Zulu we need to install this dash Zulu so last uh, semester I installed this uh, FX the barrier this one This one and uh, this one. There are some other implementations. I just missed a dash to look. Second one is this one. Okay, it's done. And uh, it has set this uh, Java 8 as default. Here we will type uh, which Java. You will see this Java is installed and this uh, hidden folder. And type Java version. See, it's uh, Java 1.8. 1.8 .8 is 8. Now we want to install Java 11. SDK install Java followed by the implementation. It's up to you to install this uh, lib RCA or this Zulu. But other implementations I didn't uh, test. I don't know whether they work as expected. So please use Zulu or that uh, libRCA. Here, do you want to switch to 11 as default? Uh, no. Because we want to install this sluice kit and autopsy first. Now, go there and download the sluice kit and autopsy by default the download files are saved as a download folder so you need to go there to find your downloaded files here the sluice kit download We want to download the latest version. Source code or Windows uh, binary for uh, here. The source code is uh, provided as uh, source code. Let's have a look. Source kit Java. So where is that uh, source kit Java? Uh, open this uh, autopsy. Download. I think it's here. 
Next, we need slow sketch job. This one. Up top there is a zip file, so we download these two. By default, saved under the downloads folder. Just saved there. Okay, you see. Wait uh, several seconds. And now go back here, follow these steps. First, go to the download folder, cd, downloads folder, errors, you see your autopsy and the slow skit over there. Now please pay attention, this one is not the one I just installed, so I need the one I just installed. So, SDK default, Java, because I didn't uh, change the default Java to 11. So currently the default Java should be that 8 I just installed. Uh, to make sure you can uh, execute this command again. Here, this one. Default Java insert to this version. Now we install a test disk. This is a component used by uh, autopsy. Next, install this uh, Sluice Kit Java. sudo apt install. Yes. Now, for this autopsy, you may save it to some other place. It's up to you. Here I just put leave it here. And this uh, download for this is not a good idea. So let's uh, move it to some other place. So you CD back to your home folder. Now where do you want to put? Let's make a folder MKDR df tools, digital forensic tools. Later you may save all the downloaded tools to this folder. cd to this df tools and more your autopsy to this place. Okay. Now the autopsy is under this df tools. Okay, use seven z x extract the contents from this folder. Let me have a look. I think I download uh, for Linux and iOS, download this one.
Also for Windows, save it for a bit. You see this uh, file is quite huge, 1.3 gigabyte. Errors, CD to this autopsy, uh, you see all the files. Now we need to uh, set up environment variable. Unix setup. Here, the Unix setup is here. Make it executable. Now we can launch it. Autopsy is now configured. You can execute this one to start it. Did you see any progressing? Okay, let's just wait a moment.
Okay, thank you, Travis. Let's have a look. I didn't test with Zulu last semester. Uh, we test with that. Uh, this one. Uh, Okay, let's stop it. Press Ctrl C. As Travis suggests, Travis suggested, let's type uh, no splash and type help to see any option we need. No splash. Don't show the splash window. So it will take lots of space, so we may adjust this. Okay, it uh, popped up and uh, looks good. So in your report, you only need to uh, take a screenshot of this uh, autopsy when you make that one. Okay, it's uh, closed. Okay, thank you, Travis. Now uh, let's uh, install Sluice Kit. We just uh, install uh, Autopsy. That Sluice Kit Java is uh, used by the Autopsy. Now we need to uh, install the command lines on Sluice Kit. First, I need to download this source code. Yeah, the source kit download. Right? The source kit download the source code. Here, yeah, if you want to save a specified place, you may change the settings of your Firefox. For that download, where do you want to save it? Here. Yeah always ask you where to save files save link as now I ask you where do you want to save change the place to uh, DF tools ok it's done currently I'm under this uh, autopsy folder so you need to follow these ones CD to the parent folder and this uh, DF tools type ls. See the source kit is here. Now we use a uh, tor zxf source kit CD into source kit. You see that is a configure. So follow this command. Make
Okay, the compilation is done. Now install it. sudo make install. Type your login password. Okay, it's uh, installed. If you type mm, then press your tab key. You will see uh, four commands. They are from that slow kit. And uh, we will learn next week. I now install a bulk extractor. Follow this command to install the bulk extractor. Again, I need to switch. Now, this time, I need to switch to my Java 11. So before that, uh, we may CD to this uh, DF tools. SDK list Java to find uh, my Java version. Here my Java version is uh, installed. It's this one. Right? Copy it. SDK default Java You may check it Java dash version oh, See uh, it's switched Now install some uh, components Clone the repository. Yes, you see that the bulk extractor is over there. CD to bulk extractor. Yes, you see there is a bootstrap. Make it executable. Run bootstrap. Errors. Now you see a configure is generated. Configure. I just follow this command here. It will take some time to compile. We will build these uh, tools from their source code. If you are interest, interested in contributing to this software, you may uh, have a look on this source code and their development manual.
okay now let's install it so to make install you can type which value is your bulk extractor oh I make a type bulk you see it's installed under this place you may launch it uh, any from anywhere which be your be your hmm? you you found the all installed and the user local bin you may run it from anywhere for example I just go to my home folder type city then run a bulk extract you see a command like how to use it there are lots of switches once this uh, you may use this uh, GUI interface be real or this is uh, its GUI interface pay attention to the latest version number 1.5.5 okay we complete this one again in your report you just need to uh, show you run this be real and that uh, block extract successfully you don't need to show all those steps now if you want to run that uh, autopsy you need to switch to the correct Java JDK first, then run that autopsy. So every time you need to check the default Java. Okay, that's it. We complete uh, the installation of digital forensic tools on Ubuntu. Now the second uh, big task. You install on your host windows. So if you already have a host windows, otherwise you need to create a Windows virtual machine. Your Windows virtual machine is not necessary Windows Server. You may use Windows 10 or some other Windows. Okay, now I will install these tools, slow skid autopsy and bug extract on my uh, Windows. Then we will complete this uh, lab. So I can complete, I can power off my Ubuntu. Go to our code compiling website.
install sluice kit and uh, autopsy yeah, autopsy download for the windows we install this uh, 64 bit double click and download the 1.2 gigabyte Okay, for this slow kit, download the Windows binary. Autopsy is done. Here, slow kit. Now for the bulk extractor, you can download from here, download digital uh, cobra. On Ubuntu, we know that the latest version is 1.5.5, right? So you scroll down to find the latest version, 1.5.5, Windows installer, bulk extractor. I think maybe it's also identical to this one. Let's have a look. 1.5.5. No, nope, they are not the same. Here, 1.6 is a development version. You may have a try on this one. Here, 64 bit. Let's use this 64 bit to have a look. And now all done, all downloaded. Let go to the download folder. Here by default they are all here. So install autopsy. Anyway, I just saved installed to the default location.
Okay, it's done. You can see it here. Double click and execute to have a look. Again, you only need to take a screenshot. Oh, it's a GUI face interface. It looks like maybe we will be stuck in this. Uh, okay, the splash window on Windows, it will not stuck. That's good. Okay, you only need to take a screenshot about uh, your successful execution of this autopsy. Now, the second one. Sluice kit. Again, I would like to uh, control X and move to some other place. I might see for the C drive, create a folder, create a DF tools. Control V, paste here. Right click and extract here. Okay, it looks like I need to install Seven Z. Download this is a Windows version 64 bit. Okay, it's done. Extract here. Through skate. Oh, we have a fold. Double fold. Ctrl X. Put it here. Okay, all tools, slow skip tools are here. You can see those four commands mm, cat, ls, state. Only three. It's fine. Now, how could we execute the commands or slow skip from anywhere? We need to add this uh, folder to the pairs environment variable. Right? Control C, copy this one. Here, let's say uh, edit environment variable for your account. In this pairs, let's ch change this pairs. New, Control V, paste here. Okay, okay. Close it. Now let's see whether we can run from anywhere. We type a command prompt. MMLS help. It looks good. So for that sluice kit, you only need to take a screenshot like this. Now for that uh, bulk extractor. Which one do you want to install? Let's install this sixth for bit. Oops, that one is not the GUI version, so let's install this one. This is the command version, bulk extractor. So you may uh, Ctrl X, cut, and paste to uh, the place we just uh, created. DF tools, 
Now if you want to put it here, you need to add another path variable again. So to save your time, you may put it under this uh, source kit bin folder. But it will mess them up. So let's put it here. Then we, you need to add one more pass folder to that pass environment variable. Add it environment variables for your account. Here, add one more. Control V, paste here. Okay, now you may uh, execute this bulk extractor from anywhere. I want to find that uh, B will. Let's uh, install this one to see whether B will is inside here. Six four bit add to pass. Oh, this is nice. Then you don't need to uh, do that manually, like I just did. Right? Install and close. So you don't need uh, that sixty four bit. You just install this one. It will install sixty four bit for you. Park. Extractor. Okay, it says not a uh, document recognized. So we need to close and run again. Maybe I made a typo about its name. Bulk Extractor. Okay, now uh, you see uh, it show up. So this one is uh, given by this ins installer, not by that uh, bug uh, 64, right? Because we only need to type this uh, bug uh, extract this name, 1.5.5. Now how about that B will be Wilbur? B Wilbur, let's see what is that B Wilbur. You can see B will here. Let's uh, I don't know which one is a B B Wilbur. Okay, here we see a B Wilbur as the latest version. We have only source code for this B E Wilbur. Let's download this one. And you can go back to see how to make a execute file. It's written in C++, Java, on Windows, here on uh, Linux, we just uh, did Harper on Windows, here on Windows. We just uh, downloaded that bug extractor, right? For this, uh, but how about that behavior? behavior? NCP viewer this place. Okay, we go inside. So P viewer we just download it. Extract here. Again I want to cut and paste in this uh, into the DF tools. Control we paste here. Java GUI B viewer. Here we see a B viewer here. The 
Java source code. Now we need a JDK to compare and uh, make a be real execute file on Java. Check this at Redmi. Here run this bewell.java file but we need to first build that bewell.java Being shared this is on Ubuntu Oops. So let's check the build, how to build this uh, B-Viewer. There's nothing inside there. That is a shortcut. You may just copy that bewill.jar from your Ubuntu. I will build one for you because it looks like our time is up. I will build one and post on our course companion website and also post the, the commands used to build this bewill on Windows. Again, once you get this one, you need to uh, run it and uh, take a screenshot. Now you need a JDK environment. You may download that Zulu Java JDK download as a Zulu build open JDK. Java version 11 operating system Windows architecture x86 64 bit Okay, it's so here now you can download this uh, installation file Install it. I install to the default folder. Set the Java home available and add to pass. Then you don't need to add to pass manually. Okay, it's done. You need to verify you can run the Java command. Java version. Okay, it looks good. Now, after you have this behavior, you may run this uh, command to execute this behavior. Alright, that's it.